Hi, this is Steve Ellicke here, your Living Life On Purpose coach. So let's talk about self-worth with its related vocabulary of self-confidence, self-esteem and, and self-belief, all of which involve the word self. And all of which contribute to self-identification or identity, who we believe we are. So let's start by saying that self-worth is a journey of discovery because you are already worthy. Value and worth are innate and it's important to recognise that as an adult you don't find or even build self-worth. You uncover and recover the self-worth that is already within you, hidden and suppressed. Uncovering worthiness is a treasure hunt with a difference. A treasure hunt where you already know where your treasure is hidden. But you will have to overcome many obstacles and trials that will get in your way to recover it. This is life's greatest challenge where you are the adventurer. An Indiana Jones type figure who is tracking down the sacred art of the covenant, a biblical statue with awesome power which holds the key to your human experience. Indiana Jones is travelling through the jungle of South America with negative forces snapping at his heels. Similarly, you will be travelling through the jungle of your mind in the knowledge that there is a positive force of worthiness within. The allegory of Indiana Jones serves us well in understanding that your search is a unique journey and that your sacred and empowering Ark of Covenant is currently a quiet and gentle force, a force that will not come to you but will release its power when you find it. No one is coming to rescue you. You are responsible for taking that journey of discovery. Like Indiana Jones, you must be prepared and plan your trip. You will need supplies, equipment, helpers, sherpas, life coaches along the way. You will research your journey by reading books and studying maps that stimulate your imagination. You will also realise how your curiosity and intuition plays a role in understanding and developing your determination to take risks. You will learn that you must surrender to the highs and lows of your unique and empowering journey. Self-worth or worthiness is what we think, feel and believe about ourselves and how we act towards ourselves, since worthiness is not found outside of ourselves. Outer competence in all areas of our lives is neither realistic, relevant or necessary. This is an inward journey, not about appearance, net worth, who you know, your friends, your career choice or your achievements. This is a mission should you choose to accept it, to correct misunderstandings and misperceptions about your self-concept with both acceptance and compassion. You are the only one who determines your self-worth. If you believe you are worthy and valuable, you are worthy and valuable. If you don't believe you are worthy and valuable, you are still worthy and valuable. Belief in yourself is a being job, not a doing job. Often, as children, we can be told we are bad when we misbehave. Instead of being told, what you did was bad, but I still believe in you. By the way, it's our job to misbehave as children. After all, we feel obliged to test our boundaries. Isn't that how we learn and grow as we reflect on our experience? So how do we find our empowering and sacred covenant? Let's start with your brain, the most incredible organ of your body. We've yet to build a computer as sophisticated as your brain. It's your most valuable asset. Artificial intelligence will be fast, of course, and knowledgeable, but not sophisticated. Let's look at some brain processing basics, well known to all life coaches. Namely, how you think determines everything in your life 
that is within your control. We must accept the fact that life is full of challenges that are outside of our control. However, how we think about our life challenges is within our control. The basic model is this. How we learn to think growing up drives our early beliefs about ourselves and the world around us and sets a pattern for our adult thinking. As adults, how we think then determines how we feel and how we feel determines our choice of behaviour and how we behave determines our life outcomes. Our thoughts about our outcomes then uses a concept of confirmation bias to reinforce our early beliefs. We can see now how we experience our lives as a dynamic linear but circular process of thinking. If you can change how you think, you can change your life forever. In my next video, we look at how you can change your thinking patterns and begin to live your life on purpose.